guys look what i found here at this small it's just like a toy shop we're on like the a bridge shop sort of thing that goes over the river check this out oh come on let me turn around ah! and i've asked here before if they've had them they hadn't and now they do so i'm totally gonna get this i'm so excited i have not seen this Alright, here we are at the table to unbox this thing. So I did do a little bit of research on the Kaiser, Kaiser, oh my gosh, Kaiser Sparkle. <laughs> um, they are a an Australian company and I believe that they have over a hundred stores in Australia. So I don't know how I happened to get this here. It seems really random here in a uh, Idaho <laughs> of all places but I mean hey that's kind of cool I'm glad that we that we were able to get something like this I just love this artwork too so um yeah I uh they have lots of things on there other crafts uh, craft items and um paper items and anyway I kind of explored their site for a little while so I uh, they I think they only ship in Australia so anyway I don't know what it is about me and Australia diamond painting companies lately, but this was such a random find. So I did want to show you kind of the back. Um, it does have the instructions and it said $26.99. I think it was quite a bit less than that at the store, um, but it looks like that's what the usual price is. And uh, yeah, this says it's a 30 by, oh, it goes by millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just 30 by 40 because I think that's what that converts to. Anyway, so it's the rough kind of canvas. Let me roll that the opposite way. It is a thick canvas, which I really appreciate. It reminds me a ton of the, I think the recent ones I've been opening lately. Uh, it reminds me actually of the Create Love Share, which is also an Australian company, as well as uh, Distracted by Diamonds. That's cute. Do I need to zoom out more? I might need to zoom out more. That's so cute. I love the colors in this. Oh my gosh, my daughter's gonna love this, but secretly I'm going to do it. Just kidding, we'll probably do it together. That's what that's how it's been lately actually. She and I have been working on kits together. So no matter what kit I'm working on, she'll go work on it when I'm not paying attention. She does spill a lot more than I like, but hey, that's okay. She's six and I'm just grateful that she loves this too. All right, let's take a look at, I'm gonna turn this over before we take a look at the canvas. I'm not one who really likes the really tool kit that much. But let's go and see what we have really fast. Pen, squishy, no multi placers. Um, which, if this is your first kit ever, it's nice to have multi placers. But some baggies, not enough to kit up with. But hey, okay. it's small enough, you could probably do one color at a time, maybe. Um, the pink wax, it is the more see through wax, so it's not as nice. And just a regular boat tray, which is just a normal one. That's what comes with a lot of kits. Um, I'm gonna cut this part out. All right, here we go. I still think this is so random that I found this in Idaho. Look at that blue. Ah, it's everywhere on my blue. All right, I don't see any specials on here, but that's okay. We have plenty to bring things up with. Especially, I have things that will match those colors. Sometimes it feels kind of nice not to have anything. So let's take a look. I don't like to go through all of the BMC posts, but I'll try to show you the colors. So let me turn it over actually. This is a better idea of the colors. I guess unless you want to see the BMC posts, but sometimes I just like to have them. See the colors. A lot of this blue one right here, which makes sense because that's the background. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with all of these colors. We'll take a closer look at these drills in a second closer. It definitely looks like it's acrylic, not resin, which I'm not surprised about. From my budget kit, you usually, usually get acrylic. And it's actually pretty rare to get a uh, resin rounds out there, from what I'm understanding now. I 
thought maybe that might have been the easiest stuff. Okay, let's take this baggie. Guys, those look good. I don't see much trash. I don't see any trash. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at it, but I'm not showing you. Yeah, that's looking really good. I see a couple tabby ones. I also like that they're very strong colors. I've noticed that sometimes with rounds that are uh, acrylic, you'll get these weirdly translucent looking colors. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm dealing with it with my Distracted by Diamonds kit. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to hold any of those aside because they're really special. So, let's take a look at this though. Uh, we do, let's look at the symbol clarity. I'm going to bring it up close to you. Well, that looks like really good quality. The sixes look like they might be a little bit fuzzy. But nothing too bad. <laughs> look at those colors, they're so pretty. All right, well, let's look at the legend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, no, I, good. J, H, J, K, L, M, N. Threes and eights are very different colors because that will cause issues if they're similar colors. And although the B and eight, I usually don't like having a B and an eight, but those are also very different colors, so I don't see that causing an issue. Um, like, look here. There's the eight, right down there under the nine. And here is the, the B right there. So it's very different. So I don't think it's gonna cause any issue. Um, this is not exactly laying down super flat. Let me see, plastic is meh. I don't like this plastic. I'll definitely use release paper for this plastic. I hate trying to cut through some plastic. It always, it just never, it never works out for me. I always end up just really frustrated. So I will use release papers if the plastic is thin like this. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh, my hair. <laughs> there you go. Get this other side. Gosh, that unicorn is so sweet. I love the artwork. I am trying to find out. I'm pretty sure it's usually licensed artwork because usually they won't sell it in a store unless that is. At least I've never seen that before. Um, it's not legally licensed because you, I think stores can get in pretty trouble. I don't know why Amazon doesn't get in trouble. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. Because um, I know Amazon sells a lot of not licensed kits. Um, but as far as I understand for like retail stores, they, they could get in some pretty big trouble if they don't. All right, there is a pretty big wrinkle on the back on these two spots. Australia and your wrinkles. <laughs> I wonder if it's because um, the temperature changes in shipment or something like that. So I wonder if I could get, if you haven't watched my previous video with the Create Love Share, um, one of my pictures got very, very wrinkled, um, apparently on the way here. So I did contact them about that. I haven't heard really anything much since uh, them saying that it's probably had something to do with the temperature changes when it was being shipped. So that's too bad. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's what happened here too. But I am, I told them I am going to ask for either a replacement, probably a replacement or some sort of refund for the other one if it's not, um, if it's not going to work out. Uh, You'll see that video coming up in, in maybe, I don't know, maybe this weekend because I do need to try out putting some drills on it first to see if that will lay it down flat. And I tried spraying the back with some water. I tried ironing it. So it's not like I didn't try. And um, the kit plus the shipping actually ended up being quite a, not like a huge amount because it was really on sale from Create Love Share. So uh, long story short or long story long, because I tend to do that. <laughs> we'll see about that. And this is wrinkled in a very similar way, although not so drastically. So whatever works on that might work on this. Or maybe I just need to have it lay down flat. So I'll go lay it down flat after this and put the drills away. And yeah. So that's this one. Oh, you know what? Did we check the glue? Ooh. 
very nice sticky glue like that mm. yeah this looks like a 30 by 40 maybe bigger it might be bigger than a 30 by 40 oh okay that's why it's a 44 by 34 that's why it's a little bit bigger because it says millimeters but that's just we're just converting it down to um, centimeters so you just move over the dot the decimal and that would be 44 centimeters by 34 centimeters math <laughs> and uh yeah that's that right there uh so yeah that's the sizing i guess i didn't check to see if it was correct i mean i don't have anything to check it so i'm just eyeballing it looks like a little bit bigger than a 30 by 40 i'm gonna call it good so uh yeah that's this kit guys um i can't think of anything else to show off with it, except that this was really cool to find this australian uh company out here in Idaho and hopefully those of you who might be in Australia know where to go for some diamond paintings now and I know that they have an online if you spend over $60 in for only if you live in Australia you get free shipping so pretty cool uh thanks for following me guys and uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content uh anything diamond painting related i've got you covered sorry if i sound awful i actually feel really awful right now i've got another cold this has been the year for sicknesses and i'm over it i'm over this winter so much okay sorry no more complaining bye oh p.s there's no sticker sheet <laughs> so just a heads up there's absolutely nothing so it's gonna be one of those you just have to write down when you kid up yep yeah.